Good morning, everyone. I'm Kanak Lakshmi, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Mathematics in NPR College of Engineering and Technology, Natham. Today, I'd like to take the class of probability and queuing theory. The subject code of this subject is MA8402. Let us share syllabus first. In this probability and queuing theory, it consists of five units. Unit one is probability and random variables. In this unit, we have some subtopics also. The first one is, we are going to learn what is probability. So what is probability? As we all knew it from our ninth standard itself, isn't it? Is probability is nothing but chances. whether it might rain or not, whether I'll get pass mark in my subject or not, whether it will occur or not. So the possibility, probability is nothing but the possibilities. So in this probability, we are going to learn about axioms. After that, conditional probability and then Bayes theorem, continuous and discrete random variables. You all know what is discrete and random continuous random variables? Discrete will have the particular values in our hands. Discrete describes the particular values, whereas the continuous random variables describes only the value, values in an intervals. The particular values which we can get as random variable is said to be discrete, whereas in continuous random variable, the values were not given it in order, but it will be displayed in intervals. After that, we are going to learn about moments and then moment generating function. At last, we are going to learn about six major distributions. That is binomial distribution, geometric distribution, uniform distribution, exponential distribution, and normal distributions. Whereas, this binomial Poisson geometric were said to be discrete random variables, and uniform exponential and normal distributions were said to be continuous random variables. In unit 2, we are going to learn about two-dimensional random variables. In this two-dimensional random variables, they too have subtopics. They were all joint distributions, marginal and conditional distributions, covariance, correlation and linear regression, transformation of random variables, and then central limit theorem. In this central limit theorem, we are going to learn about three major formulas that to occur and they to have the particular values, how to, how to apply that value, formulas and all. And the central limit theorem is only meant for independent and identically distributed random variables. After that, unit three, random process. In this random process, we are going to learn about the classification of random process. The first one is stationary process. After that, we are going to learn Margot process. And then Poisson process. After that, discrete parameter Margot chain, Chapman Kolomogorov equations, at last limiting distributions. So these are all the things you are going to learn in random process. And then queuing models. Unit four is queuing models. We are going, as we all know it, PQT is nothing but probability and queuing theory. For unit three, up to unit three, we are learning about probability. After that, unit four and five, it deals with queuing theory. So in queuing theory, we are learning about queuing models first. In queuing models, we are going to learn about Markovian queues, birth and death processes, single and multiple server queuing models, Little's formula, queues with finite waiting rooms, queues with impatient customers, that is bulging and reneging. As you all know what is bulging and reneging, isn't it? In some times, the customers used to impatient, to be impatient. They used to have fight with us, isn't it? They used to come at the last, but they want to get the service at the first. So that is called bulging and reneging. Sometimes the customer may not want to get the service. We to do the same in some times. If the queue is too lengthy, we'll use to say, oh God, what I will do? Let me go home and take rest. 
I don't want anything here. So like that we used to avoid those cues. So that is called renaging. After that in unit 5, we are going to learn about advanced queuing models. In advanced queuing models, the subtopics were finite source models, M, G, 1, Q, then polachi clinkin formula, M, D, 1 and M, E, K, 1 as special cases. After this Q series, at last open Jackson networks. So this is the syllabus as we are going to learn for the next four months. Okay, so you want to know the author of this, yes or not, author of the syllabus, that is author of your book. Let me explain about the author of this uh, book. Yes, these are the contents you are going to learn for the next four months. So, this is the objective of this peer probability and queuing theory to provide the required mathematical support in real life problems and develop probabilistic models which can be used in several areas of science and technology. So this is the main objective of this syllabus. So textbook you are going to follow. IBEOC Fundamentals of Applied Probability and Random Process. Elsewhere, first Indian reprint 2007.